I'm your new robo runner. Splendors of the Hell of a day, isn't it? What's it to be? A few caps to find out where your father went? Or are you going to have a go of it on your own? Well, the wasteland can be such an unforgiven place. You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? I knew I could count on you. How about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? Now well, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Your dad came through here all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good hunting, and thanks for the caps. It's like I said, kid. Your dad was here for a bit but didn't stay long. Said he was going to the Galaxy News Radio station, southeast in D.C. Good. I hope she got what she deserved. Well, hot damn! Someone new. Always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage, and the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. All I know is that I spent too much time out there, and beyond that, I ain't gonna talk about it. Megaton is the best little town you'll find in the Capital Wasteland. Don't let anyone tell you different. Strong walls, strong people, and strong booze. We've got everything you need to make a life these days. Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. I'm not worried. 
No reason it'd pick now to go down for good, would it? Don't look at me like that. Listen, I'm working right... stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Long ago, before the war, there used to be machines. They were like buses. But they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. You didn't have to walk, you just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms, and when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. The scrap was there, why not use it? Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Sure thing. Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. The wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. Well, the raiders, for one. Once the town got big enough, they'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Now, the super mutants. They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, eventually, my father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really help keep the wolves at bay. Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, people worshipping the bomb, and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while, that's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. No, space is limited these days. 
You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. But if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. If you say so, honey. I was born here, actually, just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland is work for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since. Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. Oh, they come from all over, all over, you name it. The Stahl family grew up out east somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about where he's from. Doc Church used to live in Rivet City. Jericho, well, let's just say that men can change. I hope. Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. But Colin Moriarty runs just about everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about or plan. That man is the scum of the earth. He keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. And don't even get me started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers in everything around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. That man tries to bring law to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, I don't have much to complain about. All right, then. Well, you come on back. There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. He wanders around here all day and all night, preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. Come back if you need something. Dad says not to talk to strangers. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. I'm not supposed to talk to...
coming with the clouds and every eye every ear that's secure for a reason to hear the thunder of his voice well goddamn you're new right name's leo stall it's a pleasure it's a pleasure yeah Damn it! Who told you? Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. I... I guess you're right. I have to tell them about my problem, don't I? I just don't know what to say. I've been stealing from both of them for years to get my fix. Where do I even start? Well, I'll figure something out. Look, I want to thank you for your help. I guess it took a complete stranger to show me what an ass I've been. Take this key. It's to my private stash in the water treatment plant. Just get rid of the stuff. Burn it, sell it. I don't care what happens to it. Thanks. It'll be hard but I'll do my best. I just started, but so far, so good. Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here and everyone knows it. Come back any time. <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. No problem, buddy. And Hey, I've been wanting to talk to you. Leo told me what you said to him. You know, about his problem. I just wanted to say thank you. I know I can be rough, but my little brother means the world to me, and you may have saved his life. If there's anything that I can ever help you with, just let me know. You know, you're right. I guess I do look like a signpost. Where do you want to go? You'll want to see Doc Church next to the crater. Take your time. Are you joking? Yes, there's a bar. The Brass Lantern. Oh, no problem. I'm not busy at all. Yep, plenty of time to talk to strangers. Outside of Megaton? Any place other than here sounds like heaven to me. Fuck this place. If it weren't for you Wasteland types coming through with your caps, I'd be out of here in a second. Assuming that I could convince Jenny and Leo. It's a hole. A dead end. So why do I stay? Well, it's a hole that makes me money. Moriarty pisses in his still. Crazy bastard thinks it's hilarious. Besides, you'll get your throat cut in that pit. You're much better off here. Hey, maybe I'll put that on the sign out front. The Brass Lantern. Cleaner, safer, and less likely to have piss in the drinks. Yeah, catch you later.
Yeah, what is it? Well, it's no secret that the old water treatment plant is on its last legs, and I'm the only one in town that can keep the damn thing running. I spend so much time up in the plant that I can't take care of the leaks that keep springing up in the pipes around town. Now, I don't expect much from strangers, but if you've got the know-how, I need someone to hunt down and repair those leaks. From the pressure in the plant, my guess is that there are three of them scattered around town. Check along the pipes and the valves, but they might be a bit tricky to spot. I could, but I can't hunt for leaks all damn day. That rust bucket purifier would fall apart without me around to plug it up. The only break I get is when I shut the thing off for the night, and I can't look for leaks when the water isn't running. I hope you can help. If folks knew how bad it was getting up here, well, I don't know what would happen. What can I tell you about Megaton? Well, that fucking bomb is killing us all slowly. How's that for a piece of information? I take care of the water purification plant. This old rusted hunk keeps us in clean water, for now. Well, people have been saying that the water purifier's about to go. Honestly, I'll tell you what I tell them. I've been keeping that wreck going for 35 years, and this is the first time I've ever had a problem I couldn't fix. You came in here on your own power, so you must not be busted up too. Yeah? You done? Good. 